Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ajana. Welcome to episode 51 of Game Programming. So I'm actually really tired right now, but what we're going to do today is continue um, with the game, obviously. I don't really need to say that, but um, what we're going to start today is a series of videos that's going to deal with the map. Now, many of you guys really want me to, um, well, the, the, the map basically needs to get developed in this game somehow. And, um, and I thought that I would take the uh, next few episodes to actually do that. So um, Andy Wall actually sent me an updated sprite, a King Chono sprite thing. I'll put that in, in a later episode though, because um, cause yeah. But uh, right now we're gonna just open up um, paint.net uh, and get our image in there. So this is obviously our sprite sheet. So what I wanna do here is um, basically make I don't know, let's, let's just make a few more tiles, right? So first of all, let's just make this entire area um, green. Um, and we'll probably just do it to this side as well. So this is, uh, this is, this is the episode where I teach you guys how to use paint.net. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, uh, yeah. We're gonna probably draw, I don't know, I'll probably draw like a flower or something here. Um, I like flowers a lot, you can tell. <laughs> um, and I can't really tell if that's, that looks like it's one, um, whoops, that was the wrong tool. Yeah, I can't really tell, but, um, it's all right. And we could just do this. Oops. All right. So this is going to be quite the, uh, what? There we go. So flower. That looks good, doesn't it? Might need a bit of no, that's fine. Um, and we'll obviously add some uh, some more intricate details here. Maybe a bit of a bit of a shadow. Nah, it's not dark enough. And I might also um, since we are dealing at a higher resolution here, we're not going. Whoops. We're not going like eight by eight. We're going sixteen by sixteen. I might also um Yeah, I feel like this net really needs to be bigger. Um, okay. I'll just scale it up. So it's obviously too big. That could work. Yeah, that could work. Okay, there we go. So let's let's sort of deal with this. Um, first of all, let's get rid of that. Second of all, I think if I get rid of that as well. Um, we'll have a better looking flower. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe if I do something like that. Might look better. I don't know. What do I know about drawing flowers? That just looks like rubbish, doesn't it? Ah. <sighs> yeah, I think I like the original design better. Um, welcome to the series where Cherno tries to draw flowers and fails. All right, that's gonna be fine. We're just gonna go really simple graphics. Just like that. There you go, flower, yay. Uh, one thing I will do though is this um, This yellow just is not really doing well in the saturation department. Looks really sad. So um, I'm gonna fix that by uh, making it a bit better. There you go, maybe just a touch darker but still more saturated. All right, that's gonna be our flower. And now for the rock. Um, let's just draw something really simple for the rock. So maybe like something like that could probably work. Um, and then again, we'll take some lighter shades for the uh, top. 
because that's how we roll. And some dark shades for the bottom. And voila, we got our rock. Um, yeah, if any of you guys want to send me your sprites, go ahead. I'll probably use them because <laughs> I doubt they'll be worse than this. That flower is um, way too big. So let's scale that down a bit. Hey, there we go. All right. Whoops. That shouldn't have happened. Okay. Paint pocket, that's F. All right. Cool. So that's what our thing looks like right now. Let's go. Actually, I don't like... I don't like this. Um, It's too thin. Let's make it a bit... Yeah, there we go. Cool. So let's take a look at actually um, popping that in the code. If we go back to our sprite... Um, stuff we can add a few more tiles so over here in grass let's duplicate that twice we'll call one flower we'll call one rock they're both 16 size sprites we know that if we look back in here actually i think i've still got paint on that open um we can see that that's zero right that's zero zero that's obviously going to be one zero and maybe two zero um so the x of that is one of the flower and the rock is two awesome so let's go back into our random level class quickly. That's the thing that's doing it. And we can see that we, we're actually drawing a number from zero to three, basically, anywhere from zero to three. So if we go back into our level class over here in our get tile method, uh, we see that if that tile class, if, if, um, if that tiles array at a particular index is equal to zero, we're returning tile.grass. So let's change this around a bit. Let's duplicate that twice and say that if it, if it equals one, we'll return flower, tile flower. And finally, if it equals um, two, we'll return tile dots, what's the other one, rock, all right? So obviously these haven't been created yet, so we can pop over to the tile class really quickly and duplicate this grass twice. And from here, we'll just call one flower and we'll call one rock. And we'll, um, we'll also, you know, adjust these. So that's flower, that's gonna be rock. So yeah, I'm gonna create subclasses for each of them. Um, if we create class flower tile, we'll make sure that it is in the tile package. Hit finish, and if we go back to, well, first of all, let's add the constructor. Second of all, that's really all we need to do, right? Um, we do also need to grab, if we go to our grass tile class, we also need to grab the render method from that, copy and paste that into our, um, where are we? Flower tile, here we go. Copy and paste that there. So there you go, it's gonna look exactly the same as grass tile, really. Um, but for the rock tile, it's gonna be a bit different. So if we um, create class rock tile, finish, um, let's put, pop the constructor in. Let's pop the thing, the same thing that we that we put into um, flower tile. And one with one addition, right? If we go back to tile, you see that we've got this solid method. Let's copy that solid method and put it into rock tile just below the render. It doesn't actually matter where it is, but yeah. And we'll just change, change this return false into return true, so that we know it's solid. And and in the future, when we actually implement collision de detection, which will actually be pretty soon probably in a few episodes. It'll probably be within the next five episodes. We can actually, um, we can actually, uh, you know, not go through rocks. So let's launch our game, see what we get. And look at that, we get a bunch of interesting things. So first of all, you can see that there's a lot more grass tiles. There aren't any of the two tiles that we've picked. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is that we simply haven't set the sprite to be the correct sprite. So if we go to tile, you can see that all these sprites are actually equal to sprite.grass. So let's change the flower to sprite.flower, which we created earlier, and rock to sprite.rock. Let's launch our game, and look at that. We have different um, different tiles now. So yeah, those are my really horrible looking tiles. If you guys wanna send me tiles, you just um, feel free to. Maybe Andy Wall can send me some tiles. I think he did, actually. I think he did, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, trees would be nice as well. <laughs> so that's a quick quick little uh, thing if you guys want to help me out. But um, other than that, that is uh, episode 51 of Game Programming. And I'll see you guys 
in the next episode. Later, guys.